What's up everyone? Kaplow here for another Starfield Basic. Alright guys, let's talk about your jump range and fuel consumption. Your jump range, minus 24 light years, is how far you can travel from one star to the next star along a path. Your fuel indicates how far you can travel in a given trip. Generally, having more fuel will allow you to travel much longer distances. However, having a larger jump range will actually shorten your trips because the shortest route between two points is a straight line. Let's take a look at this right triangle. If sides A and B are both 20 light years, then side C would be about 28.3 light years. If I wanted to travel from this point to this point, and I have my current jump drive that only allows for a 24 light year jump, then I would need to travel along sides A and B in order to make that trip, which would then be a 40 light year trip. Now, a stronger grab drive would make that jump 28.3 light years, and I would expend less fuel overall for this trip. This would then apply multiple times as you plot out longer and longer trips across the galaxy. For example, right now I have to go from Higgins, to Bohr, to Fermi, and then to Maul. If I had a stronger grab drive than 24 light years, I'd be able to go directly to Maul, but this trap is now significantly longer because of the strength of my grab drive. Granted, my grab drive is already quite strong anyway, so I should be able to lose some fuel tanks to make my ship even more agile during dogfights. And if I upgrade my drive again soon, I should be able to shorten my trip even more by going directly from Higgins to Maul. If this video was helpful, give it a like, and if you need anything else, find me when you need me.